Is Mr. Herbert Wyatt here? No, no, Mr. Wyatt, huh? Excuse me? Okay. Um, we have uh, Mr. Wyatt. Um, he's a biologist and he uh, takes care of the ponds. And uh, I had a conversation with Mr. Wyatt about um, increasing the fish population in Tom's Pond. Uh, now that uh, we have a majority of the land, we want to make that fish friendly for everybody. Uh, his suggestion was rather than just restock fish and have them caught right away, um, was to fertilize the pond to increase the food supply so that the bass um, and other indigenous fish would, would grow. Um, unfortunately, he's not here tonight. Um, his wife is sick. Um, hopefully, we can get him at our next council meeting. And I will, I will make a phone call and keep in touch with him. And he's a really super guy. I know he's done some great work uh, with you, Singh. And uh, just a really nice guy. And uh, it's really not that expensive of a deal to do. So uh, we'll, we'll hit that up next month if we put that on the agenda for June. Okay. Uh, speaking of Tom's Pond, next item on the agenda is closing streets within Tom's Pond. Um, the city purchased um, land from the Historic Society, so we uh, we own quite a bit of the city owns quite a bit of the uh, property. Unfortunately, there's still maps of city streets running through, it. and I don't think anybody's going to be driving through Tom's Pond anytime soon. It's kind of a hindrance when you want to. Um, develop the pond for recreational use, and that's that's kind of what I think this council would really like to do. Then uh, a lot of talk with uh, the uh, Lake Park Chamber about maybe putting a pavilion up there um, and maybe uh, developing that whole area. There's really, unless you live on a pond or a lake, there's really not much access for other residents in the city of Lake Park. So we want to make that really the centerpiece of our city. It's, it's a beautiful pond, and uh, I think one of the uh, ways to do that is to close the streets and, and carry on. So, uh, uh, Rob, what do you think about the, uh, closing the streets? What exactly do you need to do if the council desires to do well, that? Ordinarily, you'd have to notify the adjoining property owners and uh, just vote on it. In this case, I believe, with the acquisition is paid. You, you now own all the property that um, abuts the, the, the underwater sections of the street that you're talking about closing. So I, I think you can just vote to close things. Um, That's not giving up our right to our We will still own those streets. They won't, they won't exist. Yeah. So I'm trying to understand why we need to close them. We own the land, and why don't we just leave it as it is rather than close them because we don't know what's going to happen in 10 or 15 or 20 years. So why do we need to close them? We own the land. We own the right of way, and we own the land on your side of those roads. So why close them? Because if you want to develop that pond and you want to build something, you're going to be building it on a city street. So, you know, the streets that aren't there will dictate to us what, how we develop that land. So it would be much, I mean, maybe in 10, 15 years, the sinkhole will open up and suck out all the water at Tom's Pond, but I think that's going to remain a pond. And have streets coming through, they don't serve any purpose. And if, and if we ever did, a pond ever did revert back to being dry, um, the city would have the option of creating new streets if they want to. We but now these streets serve no purpose. We still own the property. Though. We do own the property. We just want to say, hey, you know, there's no street coming from Thomas Pond. We, you know, even out to the grassy areas, you know, where people hang out, those are considered streets. Have they ever been open as public streets? Was there ever a time when there's not water in the pond? Nope. Yeah. It's yeah. always been kind of. Yes. That's where the jail used to be. Gary, you grew up here. I have drained the pond um, um, since I've been here. That's the only time I had, had water. We drained it and cleaned it out. Yeah. Yeah. The same do you ever yeah. remember streets actually going through that? Uh, yes, that not streets going through, but like the peak said, they did drain it at one time when they did. When they were getting out of the peak. But there's never been streets going through that. 
I think you have to stop and think about this though. You have other property owners that own land that abut these streets. And what's the impact to them? Are you just gonna say now you don't have any right way between us and your 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 line comes to our line there's no <coughs> more or how does that impact those folks? Well, you got um, Mr. Sandlin owns property that abuts the street. You got, I don't know the lady's name over here. Um, what is it? Miss Hiney, Hiney or Hiney or something like that. Yeah, she owns property and then one of the streets goes across the lake and I forgot the man's name that owns um, his property abuts that. So, I mean, you have, to, you, you have to acknowledge the reality that they're underwater streets. I mean, they're never going to be. All of the street isn't underwater. Okay. All the land before you get to the street is land land. And then, I mean, from the pond to Railroad Avenue, that's all the dry land. None of them are open as public streets. I mean, no section of them are. No, no they're not paved. I mean, so they're not used. And, and one of the reasons, I don't know if we can do this, there was, what, 17 parcels when we uh, at the acquired this land? Um, 22 parcels? Um, it took months to research all those parcels. So um, what, what I would like to see happen is it, it's just one entity. You know, it's well, you can close the streets whenever you want. If there's notice issues, then I can just publish a notice to all the adjoining property owners to put it on the agenda for the next meeting and we could vote on it at that time. Well, what's if anybody had an interest, would be very good. Might as well get consensus of what the uh, council wants to do. I mean, make a motion that we follow our lawyers' advice and send a notice to all the property owners that we're going to close these streets. description is always going to refer back to the specific lot numbers for all those lots that you guys acquire just because that's the way they've been that's the way they've been recorded. So there's no way to turn those those recorded lots into um, one lot or one one fossil. See it would protect it would also protect the pond because if you had parcels in, in the future <coughs> somebody on city could sell a parcel in that land. <coughs> You know, take it, take away a parcel of that. So if we made it one entity, I mean, it would have to be all or none. That would be a much bigger uh, decision, and hopefully, it would happen. Any council can go and subdivide and sell it like they want to. You can't hold the future council to That's true. what we do. But, but we you cannot it. take in all these roads because Thomas, you will landlock Mrs. Hyman, and Hyman, is that how you say it? Uh, you will landlock her and you can't do that. Well, that road, that particular road, when it meets uh, the uh, home, we have to remain open. So we have to get the exact uh, dimensions. But 
I'm talking about the, the, uh, the roads that are on um, railroad. <coughs> the, uh, talking about West, we're talking about Lawrence, we're talking about um, a majority of the ocean going through the center. You can't do anything with Lawrence. I mean, it's. You can't do anything with Lawrence. Center of the corner. The entire, the entire piece of Lawrence. See, I'm not seeing it under the water, so. <coughs> Part of Lawrence? From the yeah, Lawrence goes to Thomas Avenue, uh, <coughs> which also affects the That's right. That's right. Okay. And it's not under the water. So we're talking about Thomas and we're talking about West. Uh, and Ocean. Part of Ocean. Because Ocean goes out to Maine, Thomas goes out to Maine, West goes all the way to railroad. Correct? Correct, it looks like it. So we have a motion, we have a second. Uh, I think you're gonna have to change that motion to... Uh, well, you should identify the exact section you're talking about closing. For example, you'd say, really well, West Street, really, really well, 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 It's right to the grass. It's right on the grass. There's no road. It's not showing it on that map. Yeah, what if we close mm -hmm. only the under the underwater part? How about this? How about we identify exactly the streets? Um, bring it back to the next council meeting. I'm a draw. Okay. Is that okay with the council to identify the streets that won't affect any of the neighbors and uh, strictly in the city? Between your lots or. Move on. And that motion was withdrawn, right, Bert? Yes, sir. OK. 